you know, when I first saw Siri when I was like 10 or something, I thought that was the coolest thing I've ever seen. So I decided it'd be cool to make her in Scratch while teaching you guys how to make her too. So join me in the making of Siri with Scratch. Alright, so let's begin. Uh, so if, to make a new project, you're going to want to click the Create button up here next to the Scratch sign. And let's delete the cat. We don't want it in here. And this is kind of annoying. Yeah, sorry about this, but it's going to be annoying because I have like this. I twitched to Opera instead of Chrome, and that's the setting thing. Since Chrome wasn't working anymore, it was like glitching out for me, so I switched to Opera. So, yeah, so you're just gonna have to deal with this, I guess. Uh, so, let's create a new sprite and let's convert this to vector. Let's import the uh, mic icon. So, this is kind of like the Siri iOS mic icon. Yeah, let's just set up all the sprites first, so convert the vector, let's import our background picture. You can really you can choose any background picture you want to use. Doesn't really matter. Okay, so now we have our background. make a blur effect on the background too. So if we go into Photon, photo editing, we can make a tilt shift. So we can make a certain area blurred. But we're just gonna blur the whole image. And I'm gonna save. You can see save it as the highest save it as a PNG file since it's the highest quality and it'll work best in scratch. So click save my computer, click desktop and name whatever you want. And that will save for you. Now you go back to Scratch. Upload your new image. Alright, then import. And then upload your new image. There we go. Blur effect. Kind of like the iOS, uh, Siri on iOS. Uh, so next, I guess we can make the sprite. That's actually going to save the thing, the responses and things like that. For example, like if you say hi, it's going to say hi back. So I guess we can make the response like. Hello, or actually, what do you need? Get to the coding layer. So, yeah, what do you need? Make sure it's centered as possible. And then make sure to name this costume what do you need so it's easier to find in the costume directory. Let's get to the coding. Alright. Let's make a variable. We'll call this assistant open. Open. Question mark. Let's put uh, one green flag quick. Uh, forever block. Makes this code go on forever. And then if. block and then we'll do a mouse down block so if the mouse is down it and let's put in an and block too as well and assistant open equals false then oops 
move it into the microphone and actually put that inside the uh, background. I'm gonna have to add another hand block actually. Now this looks complex, but it's really not bad. It's really not too hard. And touching mouse pointer. And uh, okay, and set assistant open to true. And if it if it is equal to uh, if it is equal to true, then it'll, ch then it'll change it to false. But if it's equal to false, it'll change it to true. Uh, so next we're gonna make it so it'll broadcast. So we're gonna make a broadcasting uh, block. So we'll make a broadcast message. Call, we'll call it. Uh, I guess open. So set system enable true and broadcast open. That's pretty much all we need actually for the system. For the microphone part. I'm sorry, we need to add another thing. So we go to sensing, then we do, uh, where is it? Yeah, ask. Delete everything, don't put anything in there. Do ask that, and wait. Make sure the broadcast open to build that, make sure everything build that, because you don't want it waiting, and then never broadcasting open. And then we're gonna make another uh, broadcast. Answer. Okay, so for the background, we're gonna do one green flag click forever if and equal sign system open equals true then looks change, call it ghost effect, by 10, whoops, sorry, no, don't, don't, don't put that in there, uh, oops, uh, we're supposed to put, move this costume, move the first costume over into the stage, and then delete it. Alright, so if assistant if equals true, now we do change ghost effect by 10. And the opposite for if it's equal if it equals false. So now Oops, switch those around. Oh my god, I'm just shut. Clumsy mess right now. There we go. So then it'll blur when we ask Siri for stuff. And then when we click it again, Siri will close, will open again, and then we can ask for more things, and then it'll unblur just like in regular iOS. Alright, next, let's add it to the words like glide up like they do in iOS. I'm pretty sure they do in iOS like that. Like they kind of like glide up and stuff like that. So let's do a green flag clicked forever. Oops. If this is new, equal, equal, oops, let's do if else block. And then if an equals block, if this is new, equals true. And looks. Switch to costume. What do you need? Uh, wait. 0.5 seconds. Show. Go to. Zero, negative 50. And go to front. And a repeat block, and then change the value to 50. And now we're gonna go into motion, change y by 
it. This is a pretty complicated part. And divide some divide box. So we're gonna do change y by zero. Uh, and then y position divided by three. After that, we're gonna add a change ghost effect by negative 10. Then we're gonna do wait until assistant open equals false. Alright, so in the L section, I'm going to add set ghost effect to 100. So what this is going to do, it's going to do the assistant opening goes true. It's going to switch to the costume, what do you need, like this. It's going to ask, what do you need? And then it's going to wait 0.5 seconds and then show. And it's gonna do like that gliding effect like an iOS, like a cool like glide, and then it's like gradually gonna stop. And it's gonna change its ghost effect by negative 10. So it's gradually gonna show itself. And then what this is gonna do, it's gonna wait until this new people is false so this doesn't keep repeating when it's answered and stuff like that, like when it's answering the question and switching different costumes. So next I'm gonna do when I receive open. Switch the costume. What do you need? Show. And then go to zero. Uh, and y 50. Negative 50, sorry. And then do the contr go to the control section and repeat 50 times. And then copy this and put that in there. Now we can clean it up. So what it's gonna do, it's gonna do when the microphone's clicked again and the system is open, it's gonna glide gradually back up the it's gonna do the same animation that it did up here. So it's gonna glide the words up again. Uh, so now we're gonna make make it so that it'll say the answers. Spit out the answers and things like that. So we're gonna do when I receive answer, we're gonna do Make a thing that says go to the same position as we always make go to, negative 50. Y negative 50 is 0. X 0. And then we're going to make it wait 0.5 seconds. And now we're going to get an if else block. So if you go to operators and get equals, and then you're going to go to sensing, you're going to get answer equals let's make it high Here and then we're gonna now let's make the costumes or the answers and things like that. So we're gonna say polo there for high. Let's center this. So we can have the same text size. And then we're gonna make an error message like error. I'm not smart. Not as smart as you. Switch the costume. I'll pick out the names. So, hi. I would name them what your answer, what your uh, question, what the question is asked is, because then they're easier to depict. Error. And, you know, error. The last one, error. Um, 
So we're gonna do switch costume high. And then I'm gonna do this, duplicate that same thing, and put it there. So then it's gonna switch to costume high if we do hot high and a period. So high, period. Hello there. And see she's switching back to the costume. What do you need? High. So then, now, uh, we can make the error, you know, so if she doesn't know what to say, so we just take a bunch of random stuff, nonsense, she'll say, error, I'm not as smart as you. Hi. Hello there. So that's pretty much it, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you like this, please like. And if you want to see more tutorials, subscribe, and yeah, thanks for watching.